With costs coming down, private companies are now launching fleets of tiny and cheap CubeSats. Earth imaging company Planet has over a hundred of these minuscule satellites circling the Earth, downloading one and a half million pictures each day and covering every spot of the world. Whilst imaging the Earth isn't new, monitoring it on a daily basis is a significant advancement. This near-constant surveillance is giving us insight into how the world is changing, covering everything from deforestation in the Amazon to refugee camps in Myanmar. This democratisation of space data can enable us to understand natural disasters, environmental change, the global economy, wars and even disease. During the COVID-19 crisis, these images can provide surprising insights into how the pandemic is impacting our world. The data is even used as an indicator of global economic health. Governments can estimate crop yields and investors use it to monitor oil storage in areas across the world. We see a lot of effects on the economy. I mean, the obvious indicators of those are things like um, the ships either stacking up or disappearing from ports, um, planes stacking up at air, airports. Uh, we saw oil tanks getting full up uh, because the oil was still being in supply, uh, but uh, the, uh, it wasn't being used as much. And so the, all the tanking capacity was being filled up. And there may be positives for the environment and new ways of working that will emerge from populations being locked down. Pollution has gone down um, and we have seen some of that effect with factories going off or less people travelling on the roads and with planes and the effects of that. Um, and in general, this is uh, re and relatedly uh, changing people's behaviour a bit. Um, a bit like people are um, moving to Zoom instead of uh, traveling to meetings, uh, we are seeing people use remote sensing uh, satellite data rather than going out to visit sites. But there's only so much that we can understand from flat images. The next step is utilizing artificial intelligence to make the world searchable. With computer vision and machine learning, soon you may be able to ask for highly specific information. How many houses are there in Pakistan? Um, give me a plot of that versus time and you should be able to extract that out. Or just tell me where the trees have been cut down in the Amazon between last month and this month and give me the latitudes and longitudes so I can go and investigate that. We can now see daily pictures of every simultaneous economic, environmental and human activity all at once. When you add in AI and other data sets, the insights, patterns and predictions we can glean are completely unique. It may turn out that these eyes in the sky will give us a whole new way of seeing our world.